Now, a developing story from Cherokee County, where Daniel Bosch says jailers slammed his face into a desk, then body slammed him onto the floor, all while he was handcuffed. It was all caught on tape, which was given to us today by Bosch and his lawyer, who say the tape speaks for itself. News on 6 crime reporter Lori Fulfight has the new details here at 6. Lori? Well, Scott and Terry, records show that Bosch was arrested May 17th for unpaid court fines related to a 2010 domestic assault and battery arrest. Although he wasn't allowed to talk about the actual incident you're about to see, he did tell us how it's changed his life. The first video is about two minutes long, and Bosch is in the white shirt with his hands cuffed behind his back. His attorneys say Bosch asked for the handcuffs to be loosened, and he and the jailer exchanged words. Then the jailer comes from behind the counter and smashes Bosch's face into the desktop, then slams him into the floor. Then you can see other jailers run into the picture. I suffered a, it's called a burst fracture, L1, and what that means is basically my vertebrae exploded and it caused pieces of the vertebrae to you know, get lodged in my spinal cord. His attorneys say these x-rays show the two rods and 10 screws that had to be inserted into Bosch's back and neck during surgery. Bosch says he has trouble walking now, can no longer hang wallpaper for a living, can't do the things he once enjoyed like cooking or painting portraits or even putting on his own socks and shoes, let alone play with his two little boys who are ages five and two. He says it's especially hard for the younger one to understand. He's just now starting to talk and jumping on the trampoline. He gets say, Dad, I jump. And I'd be like, I can't. He's like, oh, man. And, you know, it just, just pulls at your heart. This is the second video, and it's approximately 10 minutes long and shows Bosch now in a jail jumpsuit being led out of the shower area. The lawsuit says once taken in there, another jailer punched Bosch in the face, then falsified the booking sheet to say Bosch was combative and preparing to spit on him. His attorneys say the jail staff refused to take Bosch to the hospital for two days for retaliation. Every day. I, I, every day I relive it. Both jailers named in the lawsuit deny all of the allegations, including delaying medical care. They say the force they used was reasonable and lawful. The authority that runs the jail has asked for that lawsuit to be dismissed. Scott and Terry, the DA did not file any charges against Bosch for that incident and also declined to file any criminal charges against the jailers. Mm. All right. Thank you, Lori.